friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india in this case peribalbar block has been given and the eyeball has turned to the right side and it has been very difficult to manage this case so every time i have to keep the eyeball straight by some pull some force let us see the nucleus management in this case some superficial cortical lens matter has been removed now the hand piece is turned bevel is off and now i am going to divide this nucleus into two heminuclei I go through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator this is quite hard cataract so i go near the opposite equator and then chop it and now i rotate this nuclear mass 180 degree hold one heminucleus with vacuum and separate the two heminuclei completely now each heminucleus is again divided again i go through the substance hold it very firmly and then chop it and now i rotate the whole mass i'm going to divide this piece into two smaller fragments and now i emulsify these smaller pieces in this way this quadrant is removed now this is a heminucleus it is chopped into two parts and now each part is emulsified and removed vacuum power used in this case is 80% flow rate is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 mm of mercury this is faros from otley switzerland this is the last quadrant at this time i was not very sure about the stability of the anterior chamber because the eyeball is always tending to tilt to the right side so i just make it small and i leave this small piece and come out now i inject 2% hydroxy propyl methyl cellulose fill up the capsular bag and the anterior chamber in this case i enlarge the main incision little bit just by 0.2 mm because i was using a b cartridge and now i implant the lens the lens goes in the capsular bag and the nuclear piece is in the anterior chamber and now i go again with the feco hand piece and emulsify this nuclear piece at this time i don't have any fear of causing a rent with the hand piece itself i could remove lot of cortex and now I hydrate the side ports. I 
I did the corneal stroma and thus I close the side ports and then I take a 23G Simcoe cannula and do some polishing of the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim. Here it is. I go below the anterior capsular rim and do some polishing and at this time some lens fibers come out. And the chamber is nicely formed then and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention whenever your intuition says that I may cause posterior capsular rent during emulsification of the last nuclear piece. You can adopt this technique. Inject visco, fill up the anterior chamber, fill up the capsular bag, place the let the nuclear fragment be in the anterior chamber somewhere. Implant the lens in the bag and then over the scaffold of the intraocular lens emulsify the nuclear piece. Thank you once again for your attention.